let's talk about getting HTTP or HTTP HTML inside of Rust. Uh, to find the documentation for the HTML uh, sort of like uh, template language, uh, we can go to docs here, uh, concepts, and then HTML. Uh, and it has everything that we need to know for us writing our HTML inside of Rust. This is similar to JSX, but there are some key differences. So um, a huge difference here, and let's go back to our code. A huge difference between JSX and uh, this HTML is we can use the class keyword. So if I want to add a class to this, it's just class equals, and then I could just throw something in here. This is the same with any properties or any other attributes that you want to add in. If you just want like a data dash, just add a data dash. If you want a class, just add, add a class. Um, this works really well because in uh, JSX, you can't use class keyword because there's a class keyword in JavaScript. Uh, not so much in Rust, which is really helpful. So for example, let's take a look at, um, before I save, let's go inspect the code here. We have this h1 hello world. I'm gonna add a class equals maybe like title. I'm gonna save it. And now we see that we just have that class title. So it's very easy for us to add attributes. If I wanted this to be programmatic, I can create a variable up here. So uh, let's do let um, class equals uh, my, we'll do my title. Just to make it a little bit different. And just like we did with this hello world, we're gonna use the open and close curly brackets and just use class in there. I can't just put variables inside of here because otherwise it thinks it's just part of the HTML or it's like a key or the attribute or, or something like that. We have to use the curly brackets. And now we see class equals my title. Other really helpful things in here, sometimes we want to use multiple root level uh, tags as it were. So if I wanted to say like, okay, we have our H1, and then I want maybe like a P tag. And I want to just say, um, hi there. This is gonna air out because we can only have one element at the root level. So to fix this, we can use something called a fragment. Uh, all that really means is that we just have an open to close, what looks like a tag, but it has nothing inside of it. We do have to close it just like a normal tag though. Now this all works. Um, when we come back and we inspect our code, the H1 and P are still children, like direct children of the body tag, which means it's not including any like divs or anything else to like insert this in for us. This fragment is truly allowing these to be at the same level and exactly where you expect them to be. So if this is something you need, then uh, keep this in mind. But also please remember that these don't turn into real, um, to real divs, real tags, so you can't like style them or, or do anything else with them. Um, let's see, if we take a look at our documentation, um, I don't necessarily, if there's anything else for this video that we need to talk about, uh, but I think that's it. We'll be talking about uh, getting, going through some lists and other interesting things in the next video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.